Time to play Family Feud! Hey guys, what's going on? It's going to be back once again for another edition of the Family Feud right here on MVG Productions. Glad to have you aboard once again. Now I know what our immediate question is, why is my face not on the screen? In this case, it's because I'm kind of recording this late at night. I've had technical issues with my system lately. And that caused me to miss out on this week's episode. Of the there was wild. Let me kill that music for a second. I need to talk to y'all real quick. Um, I've had some technical issues with my system. I've had to work out the kinks. So unfortunately, this week there will be no episodes of the Joker's Wild. So instead, I figure I go ahead and put these up. Put up a couple extra videos of some different games for you guys out there. So we're getting these in place, and we will have Joker's Wild back resuming our regular schedule next week. But with that said, I figured, hey, I did so badly in the last game of Family Feud, I can't do much worse. So let's give it another try here. So if we, let's get back to the game. Let's play some Feud. Choose a player. That's me. Let's get into it. Say hello to our player. Going head to head against the average score of our expert player. Let's play the Family Feud. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here's the question. All right, name a musical instrument you need both hands to play. Feel free to play along at home, see how well you guys do, and leave your scores down in the comment section down below. I'm going to go with the obvious one here. I'm going to say drums. Survey says... Okay. Yes, way to go. Go again. How about a saxophone? I like that answer. Is it there? That's a strike. He had another so shot at it. it. So badly, it didn't let him have it. This goes just a sax. Survey says... Still not there. Okay. I didn't make the survey. Sorry. That's your second strike. Let's see if you can get one this time. All right. How about a... Trombone. Good answer. Let's take a look. There it is. Wow. Let's get another one. Okay, let's go with the obvious one. Piano. Let's take a look. Okay, it's there. There's still more up there. Musical instrument, you need both hands to play. How about a flute? Survey says... There we go. Yes, way to go. What else? Why haven't I got the number one answer yet here? It should be so obvious. It's not drums. It's not piano. It's not a flute. Is it a trumpet? Come on, you can do I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Okay. Okay, it's there. Go again. More obvious than the piano. And I know I'm, you're probably yelling at me how I'm like, Brandon, it's this! I'm like, I don't know why I'm not getting it. Sorry. Um, it's late. Um, how about we do... Um... Hurry, hurry. How about an organ? Wake up and smell the answers. Uh, I'm kicking myself. Let's take a what look was at number one. Next? One, let's see it. Guitar. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Can we see I'm four, I'm an idiot. It's time to check Just the scores. Or it's still time to pull this All right, out. I'm only three points behind. That's catchable in any round. Let's go around two. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. The question is... Besides a fish, name something you might find at the end of a fishing line. How about a hook? Survey says... Good job, you got one. There are still more I'm up there. Loud, so I gotta turn it down just a hair. 
How about a worm? I hope it's up there. Let's see. There it is. Yes, way to go. What else? How about a lure? Let's take a look. There we go. Yes! All right. Let's get another. For those bad fishers in the audience, how about Das Boot? I like that answer. Is it there? <laughs> Nice by the way, Go again. how are there so many old boots and stuff in the waters and stuff where people are fishing? I never understood that. I mean, I get the joke, but I'm like, come on. How about a can? I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Oh, well, that's not one of our top answers. Okay, it's a strike. That's okay. You have another shot at it. All right, besides a fish, name something you might find at the end of a fishing line. Um, the rare cases for those that like to do it. How about a shark? Survey says, and sorry, shark fishing is a thing. Strike two. Let's try again. Um, This as well. How about an eel? I like that answer. Is it there? No eels today. All right. Strike three. Too bad. Okay, let's see what you missed. Five. Let's see it. Tire. Show us six. Bait. I thought it was considered part of the Seven. Let's like, see it. Right. And we. Okay. Got the top four, which should help my score. Let's see who's ahead. 129, 115. All right. Hey, you're pretty good. You got the lead back. All right. Doing better? Let's get around three. Okay, it's the third round. It's double points, folks. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here's what we asked. All right. Name something you might need if you break your leg. How about help in general? I hope it's up there. Let's see. Okay. Didn't make the survey, so strike one. Let's see if you can get one this time. All right, how about the cast? Survey says... Hey, very good. There are still more up there. How about crutches? I like that answer. Is it there? Excellent. What else? In some, some people's cases, if they break bro both legs, a wheelchair. Survey says... Good job, you got one. Go again. How about a doctor to assess the situation? Let's take a look. Oh. Too bad. It's not up there. That's two strikes. You get another chance. How about surgery? Survey says... Mm. Those are good That's answers. Just couldn't Let's think of anything. look at what you missed. Show us four, please. A bandage, I guess. Let's see number five. A cane. Okay. Again, got the top three, which should help okay, my score. Okay, let's see let's how you're going. doing. All right, hey, got a good lead. Let's not blow it in the final round. Nice going so far. Let's see what happens in round four. It's the round where we triple okay. the points. We surveyed 100 people. The top three answers are on the board. Let's see if we can get all three question. here. Name a reason why a person might hold their breath. They're swimming. Good answer. Let's take a look. That's the way. Let's get another one. Mm, they're mad. I hope it's up there. Let's see. Nope, sorry, it's not on the board. That's a strike. I know you can do better than that. Can't breathe. I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Uh, ah. it's not up there. That's your second strike. Let's try again. How about something smells? I'm hoping this is up there. Good answer. Let's take a look. Yes! Bad odors. Awesome. Yes! Way to go! 
Great, just get one, one more. more. I, think, I think we've locked in the bonus round this time. Um, reason a person might hold their breath. Honestly, I do not know here. You can do it. Throwing a temper tantrum. I hope it's up there. Let's see. No. Okay. That was the last what was three time. then? Okay. What did you miss? Let's see number three. Hiccups. Yeah, that's a good reason to. All right. Let's see who wins the whole thing. Is fast money I in hope your so. future? Yeah, 585 five All right. I'm going to play fast money. For 20,000 bonus points. It's time for... It's fast money. Yeah. You'll have two chances to get 200 points and the bonus. If you don't know an answer, you can pass and we'll come back to it. 60 seconds, please. Ready? Here we go. And go. And something people associate with an undertaker. Dead people. Good. Name something you might find at the end of a kid's lunch box. Food is not answer to be more specific. A sandwich. Yeah. Name something you associate with a mine. Silence. Name something people associate with King Arthur. Which oddly there's a good movie coming that's now out in theaters about this. Scalibur. Name something you might find on top of a TV set. Back in the day, and tennis. Yes, right. Go. Okay, let's see how you did. The question was? Name something people associate with an undertaker. You answered? Dead people. Survey set. 42. We asked this question. Name something you might find in the, might find in the kid's lunchbox. And you said? Sandwich. Gotta have a sandwich. Survey set. 32. We asked you Name something you associate with a mime You gave us? Silence I've never heard a mime speak And if they did, scare the living life out of me Survey said 19 This is the question Name something people associate with King Arthur You said Excalibur Survey said 4 Question was Name something you might find on top of a TV set. You answered? Of course, the old TV antennas. Survey said. 24. Okay. 121 my first go through. Not bad. Okay, let's try that again and see how you do. Got a second shot at this. I will ask you the same question. If you hear this sound, you've duplicated an answer and you should try again. Let's have the clock. 65 seconds, right. please. Here come the Here questions. Go. go. Name something associated with people with that tick. Um, funerals. Name something you want to find in the kids' lunchbox. Uh, a drink. Name something you want to find. Name something you want King Arthur. Camelot. Wow! And they say you find it on top of a TV set. Uh, cable box. You got it! Okay, let's see if you got to 200 points and earned the 20,000 bonus. So. We ask this question. Name something people associate with an undertaker. And you said... General. Survey said five. The top answer was... Death. I'm dead people. Sure that. Okay. We asked you Name something you might find in a kid's lunchbox You gave us? A drink Gotta have something to drink Survey said Really? Top answer? Let's Our see answer it was a sandwich so that, too. that was up there Nice okay. work This was the question Name something you associate with a mime You Some said black and white Survey said Nice and the top answer was? Black and white face. There we go. Good. 170. 30 points away. Question was? Name something people associate with King Arthur. You answered? Camelot. 30 points for $20,000. Survey says? 
Really? Yes, I'm going to ask the answer. Round table. Yes, I to have said that. You now almost this did. question. Name something you might find on top of a TV set. And you said. Table box. 26 people for $20,000. Survey said. Ah. The number one answer I was. It. DVD. Okay. Okay, not this time. But we'll multiply your score by five. Your grand total is. 585 plus 870. Grand total of $1,455. Come on back and play the family feud. That is a new high score. Not exactly the high score I want, but it's enough to get on the board. And I guess it will do. Well, I don't know what else to say here. Alright, uh, that's going to do it for Family Feud, guys. Thank you all for watching. Remember, if you like what you see, click that like button down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more great game shows here at MVP Production. And ring the bell too, that way you never miss a video I drop. And until the feuding and the surveys happen once again, I'm your host, Brandon Stone, saying thanks for watching this episode of The Family Feud. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now, folks.